That's Middlesbrough 248184. And that's the end of this police message. There's drama and some very strange happenings in the Gifty next on 4. On Time Tea shortly, a seasonal edition of Clyde James on television. Here's some important news for knitters. Today saw the start of a brilliant new collection of knitting patterns called Creative Knitting. Published in weekly parts, you get at least seven patterns every week, some of them using the most exciting wools and yarns. There are lots of helpful hints, and the patterns are so clearly explained that even I can follow them. Creative Knitting is on sale now at newsagents. And here's some more good news. This lovely binder is free with part one. Dave, this is a bit much for a park in a fence. Well, never mind. We're on the stones. <laughs> this must be what they meant by the cooler. Fancy stones. First fair. You need a beer with real taste when you're doing five years. Okay, you do. Time's up. You are free. <laughs> There's another five. <laughs> Wherever you may wonder, take home stones. Tonight, on the first day of the Australian Bicentenary, we have a programme commemorating the event which relates the story of one and a half million Britons who went down under on the assisted, pack assisted package scheme for just £10. They became known as the Ten Quid Tourists. You can hear about them at 10.15 tonight. Now, one of Australia's exports, Clive James. Earth 2147. Digitise them. Television, unlike anything you've ever seen. Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. I've got a condition red. This show will change the way you view television forever. Nothing will stand between me and the continued domination of the Earth. The only television show of its kind. This is Captain Power. Jonathan Power. Power on. Prepare to power on with Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. At first glance, just another of those interminable space operas that outscream even the cartoons in making the weekend TV schedules a nightmare for parents and turn their children into warmongering monsters who want to watch aliens getting zapped by heroes with square jaws, low foreheads, and names like Captain Power. <laughs> but Captain Power has got something that his competitors haven't. Since he first appeared on American screens last autumn, parents have been campaigning to slow him down as he empties not only the brains of their children, but their pockets as well. Captain Power has come to TV, and you can be part of it. What are you doing? Aim the Power Jet XT7, fire invisible beams at the television targets, and score. Or be hit. The TV show fires back. No kidding. Captain Power versus Lord Dread. I don't believe it. Believe it, short human. The power of the future is in your hands. Believe it. <laughs> don't believe those dots. They don't really come out of the gun. But the gun does make a reasonably good zapping sound when you hit something. <laughs> <laughs> and when signals from the TV screen hit you, your pilot gets dumped. This system is called interactive television. The gun is geared only to the program, so you can't just point it at Jimmy Tarbuck and score a hit. <laughs> you have to point it at Captain Power, and of course you have to buy the gun at $30 with batteries extra. <laughs> the toys manufacturer who made that video press release you just watched says that of course no kid needs to go out and buy the ray gun to enjoy the wonderful program. Angry parents reply, try telling my little darling that. He wants the gun. Parents say that it's nothing more than the next stage in catalogue shopping. Parents say it's a rip-off. And once those ordinary, decent, liberal-minded parents are seen to be upset, the door is left wide open for full-time moral crusaders to stake their claim for the kids' attention. You can't have everything you see in a catalogue. And even if you could, you wouldn't find happiness in things. Look for books that teach honesty, courage, and determination. You can have those things. Jacob, do you know where happiness is from? Jesus. That's right. Jesus. If we keep looking at him, we'll be more like him. And when Jesus lives in your heart, happiness.
happiness lives in you. So, be careful little lies what you see. Be careful little lies what you see. For the Father up above is looking down with love. So be careful little lies what you see. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>